Oh, comrades, Commissar Bro here today with another episode with Countess Morag of Moray. Now, if you guys remember last time, oh, was she ever so close to being murdered by someone who it has not been fully implicated who it could possibly be, but you and I both know, dear comrade, that it is indeed Kenneth the Chancellor, as he is the regent of our liege and also the heir. So, chances are that, um, you know, if there's anyone who was able to kill her easily, it would be Kenneth. So, we still have to survive for, let's see how long, um, a whole fucking year. One whole year, ladies and gentlemen, at the behest of this this evil, clearly evil man, our stepfather. So we're going to send him a gift, try to get his opinion of us up, and let's even make him a cupbearer. Ooh, no, 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 no. Definitely don't want to make him the cupbearer. Um, mm, that's the holes. Although this delegates actual response for the stud. All right, the one responsible. Okay. All right, we'll go with the high almana. So we're giving him positions to hopefully make him like us more. Oh yes, and he's still our regent. Oh man, you retreat to your bedchamber to consider the unlikely series. Suddenly, the door flies with bang. You reach, stands for his eyes burning, a sharp dagger, and he lunges. Help, guards! Kenneth stabs wildly in the air with the dagger, missing you by a hair's breadth as you leap away in panic. Gods rush inside and pull your regents away as he screams, Why won't you die? Did I, did I miss something? Kenneth has been thrown into a cell, ladies and gentlemen. Thankfully, oh, so thankfully, did he get thrown away? That's right. That's right. So, that means Countess Morag of Murray can still make it to the end of her, at this point in time, rather long reign of dodging bullets. Because, I mean, Jesus, we have just been seriously dodging bullets. It's crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Let's get another noble in the court. Uh, one who we can make our chancellor. All right, some lead, some lead in Venice. All right, so yeah, I mean this is, whew, we just started playing. We we we, I mean we really just started playing. If you think about it, like these two episodes and then this one we're doing now, we've only been playing for like forty-five minutes, guys, <laughs> like thirty to forty-five minutes, and like everyone wants us dead. It's crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Whatever, that's okay because we're about to be. 16 years old and thus a full adult we will no longer need a regent and uh, yeah we're gonna go from there ladies and gentlemen we're gonna make this work if I do say so myself and wait for it boom Countess Moraga Murray is an adult sweet baby Jesus Woo! I'm so happy and we have become a fortune builder yes yes because she's most certainly building fortunes isn't she mm, so let's pick an ambition all right, let's aim low first. Uh, I don't think get, get married is not a very good one. How about uh, improve martial ability? Yes, let's make her a better warrior. Now, she is unmarried, so it would probably be in our interest to get married to someone. I somehow doubt anyone is going to willingly marry our dear Countess Morag of Moray um, in her current state. Basically, they just, they, they're probably, you know, everyone's got their rank and whatnot. So, we need to find somebody who is rather young. Pretty decent traits. Okay, this guy's okay. But yes, keyword young. I don't want an old man. Well, we could go with Talor, the spy master. Eh, I don't know. It's kind of creepy. Sweet Morag Murray does not want to marry an old man. She wants to marry a... Gentlemen of her own age and stature. So let's uh, let's promote a commander from our uh, our reserves there and see who we got. Did we get anybody good? All right, all right. Uh, ladies, all right. What, who did we get? Now what? This guy? This is a fucking. There. This is a commander. He's got four. It's a poor commander. 
Oh, man. No, oh, but he's lustful, so that means I'd have lots of kids. I don't know if I want that to be the case. Eh, let's just do this guy. Summerlin, the Chancellor of Murray. Matrilineal, of course, so we have all the kids stay in our own dynasty. All right, so I'm letting Countess Morag have gotten married. We can collect a royal duty. Blah, 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 make some money. Now, we will prefer the prestige. That's what we need. All right, so our dear Countess is now married uh, to hopefully a good husband who isn't trying to murder her because, I mean, come on, this is just frankly insane. Execute Kenneth since Kenneth is insignificant. No one will care. You, uh, you know what? No, let's just throw him in the oublet. Yeah, no. Throw him in the oublet. Get in there. Get in there. That's right, you bastard. You wee bastard. At least my mom still likes me. You still love me, don't you, mommy? Vilanti Diapiano. Yes, yes, of course you still love me. You have no choice. I am your daughter. Oh, Earl C, bro. It seems like only yesterday when you were alive. It wasn't. It was. It was. It was quite a while ago at this point in time. Who are we talking about? Ale, Dean Venus. Uh, uh, who wants to? Uh, no, absolutely not. He would not be. No, I rule in this kingdom. So piss off, you wee blackguard. All right. Yep. Yeah, okay. Nothing good going on. Just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Uh, we could do some light feudal taxation. It would make people hate us, so I don't know if we should do that. We want to play it safe. Uh, we can do the city levies larger. Oh, sweet! We're pregnant! Ah, yes, that's great! That means we're going to have a have us a nice, intelligent kid, hopefully. Ah, Moina Moray. All right, yeah, we're going to educate her so that she likes us. Uh, where's my name? All right, Morag Moray. All right, Moina. Moina. That's actually an interesting name there, Moina. Moina Moray. You know, we should actually probably start looking at actually fighting people now that our, uh, our dear, dear Morag has had a child. Oh, she's pregnant. Uh, my dear husband, Summerlet, is suspicious of my pregnancy. He is here right now asking me if the child is really his. Yes, you daft bastard. It is, of course, it's yours. Why wouldn't it be suspected adultery? Who the fuck would I be fucking, man? Calm down. Just, just chill, chill, brosif, b b b b b b ro, buddy, buddy, biano. I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't have other names for it. We're just gonna skip ahead a little bit for more things to happen. Oh, well, oh, there we go. <laughs> we have another daughter, Ileonio Noir Cambrodian. I don't know how to pronounce that. Ileon Noir, Il. Eli. We're going to call her Ellie. Let's call her Ellie. There we go. There's, that's an easy name to pronounce. Ellie. During the mission, he tried to fabricate. Oh, my chancellor was murdered. Oh, no, my husband. You were too young. <laughs> Why can't anything good happen in this woman's life? God, she just has a daughter, and then the daughter's dad dies. What the fuck? Died under suspicious circumstances. Oh, my God, man. Morag and Murray. Talk about tragic. Good goodness. Uh, okay, well, uh, who wants to marry good Morag and Murray? Anybody? Anybody that old? I don't like any of you. All right. Um. Yeah, no, 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 no. Nope, I'm just gonna chill and not have any kids for now. All right. Yep, 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 yep. Prove diplomatic relations. Someone do something useful. And all the stats on my council suck. Like, 7, 12, 10, 10. My half-sister Moina has a tender and loving soul, trusting everyone in the castle. I fear that one day she will be hurt. Yes, 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 yes. Now, she can gain kindness... Uh, we can show them how victorious she is. Or thank the Blessed Virgin for Moina's virtues. Uh, tender soul, I give her a tender back. <laughs> Oi! No, we're not going to do that. We're going to do this one. Those who give love get it in return. You have decided to join your personal guard in their daily training regiment at dawn. Things were a bit stiff at first, but when they realized you wouldn't have them beheaded for scoring hits on you with their wooden practice swords, they taught you many valuable lessons. Your martial skill has improved. Sweet. All right, so we, uh, we completed our first ambition to become a better fighter. And that's right, we're going to be the warrior queen of Scotland is what we're going to be. 
Oh yeah, it sounds good to me. Sounds real good to me. All right, let's uh, let's improve our diplomacy. Yes, 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 yes. I really should probably get married. I need to have a son. I would think. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have a long string of daughters, and I don't. Oh God, no. I don't feel too well. Something is wrong. Don't you die on me, Morag. Don't you die on me. Oh, my goodness. Great. Okay, that's right. All right. She's all right. She made it through. She made it through. Well, I could probably go on, but I think that this is a good place to stop considering the fact that, oh, I don't know, you know, all hell keeps breaking loose. So, whatever. Speaking of which, let's go to war with somebody before we leave. What do you guys think? We've got a lot of money, too, so we can afford some mercenaries should we need them. Declare war before we go. Yes, all right. They've got a lot of guys ready for battle. But that's okay, because we can bring in mercenaries. Lots of mercenaries. There we go. All right, build up. They're going to be kind of expensive, though. Like, yeah, so over time, we're going to have to uh, beat... We're going to have to beat the armies of Ross as quickly as possible. Which, boom! Alright, we wiped out their first and only army. So now we just have to siege Tain. And then we can bring it into the fold. Now I know a lot of people aren't going to like this aggressive act. But frankly, I don't give two shits a piss and so on. Moina was curious about the visitors, but was polite enough to wait until the Chamberlain had escorted them to their rooms before she started asking thousands of questions about them. Where they came from, why they look so different, and who they were. Wait until the banquet, and I will introduce you to them. She gains gre uh, gregarious, or stop asking questions. Now, of course, we want to make her gregarious. She is indeed our sister. We want her to be capable, a young, capable woman who hopefully doesn't get taken advantage of by her regent. Yes, because apparently that's just floating around and happening too often. My liege, peasants attacked me while collecting taxes in Moray. They wounded me severely, and I barely escaped their wrath. Your humble steward, Matt Gilroy of Inverness. Yes, fuck you. You failed. You failed me, Gilroy. Gil, more like Gil loser. <laughs> that's right. That's right, Gil loser. <laughs> I made that joke myself. <laughs> Pretty original, right? Anyway, come on, take over, Tain already. Uh, I wanna, I wanna smell my boots. There's a talented town crier in Ross who seems able to capture the attention of the peasant rabble in an instant with his commanding voice. You have studied his methods and the pitch of his voice closely, and you expect to do better the next time you have to address a large crowd of people. Hear ye, hear ye, gain one diplomacy. All right. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. We're almost out of our money. We're running out of monies. God, come on. We don't have much time. The less than less than ten months left. All right. Once we get it to like one more down, there we go. Attack! 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 Damn you! All right. Whatever. Fine. We won. All right. We have defeated Ross, and we have incorporated it into our um, uh, empire. Yes, that's right. So we actually did something. So you guys don't think I'm slacking on the job. <laughs> hey, hey. Anyway, this has been Commissar Bro, and I will see you all next time when we continue the story of Countess Morag of Moray.